All right, welcome back everybody. If you are coming from my other video where I showed you how to set up the SDR trunk software or rather install it, um, this uh, screen will look a little bit familiar to you. What I've got here is I've got a directory I created that I've extracted the SDR trunk software into along with uh, OpenJDK. And we've made some setting adjustments to make this launch and now we're going to actually see how to launch it so i'm going to go into the sdr trunk folder the bin directory i'm going to find that sdr trunk bat that i edited in the previous video and we're going to go ahead and double click this and watch this start now when i double clicked it a command prompt opened and here's the sdr software running good news is got a waterfall so it has successfully found my RTL SDR dongle and is talking to it I can see up here at the top that it is in fact talking to an RTL 2832 or I can also go to the tuners tab see that it's a uh, RTL 2832 tuner so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to go ahead and set up some frequencies to monitor so you want to click the playlist editor button and that's going to bring this up and you'll have a uh, default playlist set already here probably and what you want to do first is go to the radio reference tab if you don't already have a radioreference.com account you want to create one at this point so pause this video go create a radio reference account before continuing and now once you have one i'll show you what to do next click the log in button over here that will bring up this login screen and you're going to log into radio reference so I'll go ahead and put in my credentials here and just to be sure I'm going to click the test connection button and I'm looking for a green check mark if you don't have the green check mark you've done something wrong with your credentials now you can choose to store your credentials if you want I prefer to enter mine when I need them um, that's your choice once you get the green check mark, go ahead and hit OK. And now you're going to see that it's going to start loading some uh, stuff. Now, this is not actually the first time that I've launched this, so there's some things that are already going to appear here, but I'll show you how I got here um, nonetheless. So once this finishes loading, you want to go up to country up here, adjust this to suit where you're at, same with state, and then county. So for me, that's the United States, Ohio, Hamilton. And then once I've selected that stuff and it's finished loading, I can look at county trunked systems, state trunked systems, county agencies, state agencies, national agencies. There's a whole bunch of ways to slice and dice this. For this demo, I'm going to go to the uh, county trunked systems and go to the uh, drop down here. And the one that I'm interested in today is going to be the Ohio Marks IP system which has all of the fire and police and everything for Cincinnati where I live obviously choose a uh, system that you're interested in once I've selected that I'll have the system view here now I need to choose which system within Ohio marks I want to tune into I'm going to choose the Hamilton one here uh, for Cincinnati City once I click on that You'll see that it's loaded in all the frequencies down here that the system uses. Uh, it's populated some other stuff over here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click New Alias List. That brings up this dialog. And I am going to type in Hamilton County Marks. You can type whatever you want here. That's just what I'm going to type. Now it appears in my alias list to drop down here. And I want to go to the talk group view now. So click the talk group view. Change this drop down to Hamilton County Marks or, you know, whatever list you created. Um, cho choose the name there. And then what you'll see here is you'll see all of the talk groups that are part of this system. Uh, you'll see uh, for this system, it's an extremely large list. I don't actually care about most of these because they're for other parts of the state. But for now, we're just going to leave them all right here. There is, some, there is some filtering you can do here, um, if you wish. Uh, I am not going to do that. I'll uh, explain why a little bit later. I'm going to leave it just on all talk groups. 
I am going to leave this set encrypted talk groups to muted. I'll leave that checked. And then I'm going to click import all talk groups. And when I do that, we're going to see these aliases populate. So I've got them imported. And with that, I should be able to go back to the system view tab. And I want to go down here and you're going to now click create channel configuration. You'll notice this box here is checked. That's going to mean it's going to flip us over to a different screen as soon as I click that, which is good in this case, because that's where I want to go. So I'll click that, and now I'm on the channels tab. And you'll see that I have one channel defined. It's the Ohio Marks IP, blah, 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 with all this stuff. You can see down here, it's got my alias list selected for it. I can change the name here if I want. You know, I can, I can edit all of this stuff. Um, if I have more than one tuner, I can select a specific tuner, but I, I'm just going to leave it like this. I would recommend down here where it says max traffic channels, if you're on a busy system like the one I'm on, I'm going to turn this up. I'm going to make this 10 in my case with this arrow button. Um, I don't know what the magic number is here, but this allows it to track more conversations at a time. And from my experience, it helps me find the ones I'm in, or actually hear the ones that I'm interested in uh, more often. Uh, but you can adjust that according to your needs. The next thing we need to do is go to the aliases tab. And here on the aliases tab, I'm going to again change my alias list and choose Hamilton County Marks. Now, I, I mentioned earlier that I imported all the talk groups even though I didn't care about most of them. The reason that I did that, and this this part I'm not 100% sure about how the software works, but on an earlier um, experience, I only imported the ones I cared about. And what I observed was that I was seeing traffic showing on my screen, and I believe even at times coming through for me to hear for talk groups that were just numbers. I didn't have any name of any kind associated with them. I didn't know what they were. I didn't have a way to go in and tell it I didn't care about them. Um, so after that experience, I decided that I'd rather have all of the talk groups loaded so that I actually have a definition for all of them and can see what they are. And then I'll just turn off the ones I don't care about. Now, how you go about doing this, there's no right or wrong way. As I scroll through it, you'll see that some of them are already muted. Those are the ones that are encrypted channels, which I told to have them muted um, when it imported. Uh, but I live in Cincinnati or near Cincinnati in Hamilton County, so I don't really care about what's going on in Adams County, and I don't care about what's going on way up in Allen County. So what I'm going to do, again, you do what makes sense for you. I'm going to leave it sorted this way. Actually, I'm just going to sort it by um, group. I'm going to sort by group by clicking on that header, and then I'm going to click on the top one, and I'm going to start scrolling down, and I'm going to scroll, scroll, scroll until I find a group that I'm actually interested in. And I'm going to kind of do this in two passes. I'll show you what I mean by that. Again, this is my preference. You do it however you want. So here I come to Cincinnati. The interesting thing about the Ohio Marks is some of the groups are by county. Some, some of them are by municipality. So I'm going to actually have interest in two different groups. I'm going to be interested in the Cincinnati group as well as the Hamilton County group. So I got here. You'll remember I clicked on the very top one on the list before I started scrolling. So now I'm going to hold down the Shift key. And I'm going to click on this one, and that's going to select 617 aliases. And these are all ones I don't care about. So I'm going to toggle this listen switch to off, and I'm going to hit apply. Now all of these are muted, so I'm not going to hear those. Now here's some Cincinnati ones. For now, I'm going to leave those all, all on. So I'm going to keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling until I get past Cincinnati. And then I'm going to click on the first one after Cincinnati, Clark County in this case. And I'm going to scroll, 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 scroll. I'm actually just going to use the scroll bar on the right because there's so many. I want to get down to Hamilton County because I know that's the next thing I care about. So I'm going to scroll, and here's Hamilton County. So again, I'm going to hold down Shift, click the first one, or the last one before Hamilton County starts, and I want to turn all of these off. Now, this time you'll notice it's a little different. My listen switch is already off. Well, I want to turn it off for all of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to toggle it on and then toggle it back off and hit apply. And now I've muted 1,449 aliases. So I've still got my Hamilton counties. Now I want to get rid of the rest of the list after Hamilton County. So I'm going to scroll, scroll, scroll past Hamilton County. 
All right, here's the last one, or the first one after Hamilton County. So I'm going to click on that. Now I'm just going to hold down my shift key. I'm going to hit end. And I want to mute all of these because they're ones I don't care about. So the same process. Okay. <clears throat> so now that was my first pass at this. Now here's where I said I'm going to do things in two passes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sort it by the listen column. So that's going to bring all of my active ones, in this case, to the bottom. You know, it might be top, might be bottom, depending on how you uh, clicked. But I still have a whole bunch of uh, talk groups here enabled. Probably way more than I care about. So now what I can do is I can go through and kind of do a fine-grained cut. Like here's some stuff for Covington. I don't care about Covington. I'm going to turn that off. Um, storm, cleanup stuff. I don't care about that. I'm going to... Oh, I forgot to flip the switch. Nope, it worked. Okay, so turn that off. Um, these area wides, I want to keep those. Um, you know, just for example purposes, Addiston, Amberley. I guess that's I don't know what PROB is, probation. I don't know what that is, but I don't want to listen to that. So I'm gonna turn those off. So this is how I would do my my second pass, and I would get this tuned down to just the ones that I wanted. Um, you'll notice too, like if I expand group here a little bit, I can get a little bit more detail about what each one of these might be. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my channels tab now, and I'm going to save this. All right, so now that's all saved, and we are almost ready to start listening. So the next step would be to hit play, and when I do that, What's going to happen is we're going to find out that I'm actually still missing one piece of software. So let me go ahead and click play and watch what happens with that. All right. So now it says, hey, the decoder for this channel configuration requires the optional JMBE library to produce audio, and it's not set up. So do I want to set it up? Well, sure I do. So I'll hit yes. That brings me to this screen. And what I need to do on this screen is hit Create Library. That brings this up. Uh, an update is available. Would you like to download the latest source code? Well, yes, I would. That brings up this screen. And um, what I'll have to do here is hit Create Library. And then hopefully, um, well, OK, so I got one more warning. So it's going to warn me that, hey, there could be some, uh, um, some legal matters here. So you're going to have to read this and agree to the legal terms that you're only using this for educational purposes. Once you're satisfied with that, go ahead and hit yes. And if all goes well, some magic's going to happen and it's going to download some more software and build it and install it for you. So let's watch that happen. Okay. So we get this pop-up success, please click OK. So that's done, hit OK down here. And now the library is set up. That should be the last step in getting the software working. Let's go ahead and hit play and try it out. Now it's playing, I'm gonna go ahead and close Are this window. Are they 34 and 35? The complaint did not witness this. The employees location were speaking about this. And I... All right, I'm gonna mute that. So you heard just a little bit of the traffic there. And let's talk about what we're seeing on the screen at this point. So here on the Now Playing tab, you can click this if you're on a different tab, but on the Now Playing tab, you can see the different conversations that are happening on the different channels, and you can see what alias it is over here. And then what the software is doing is it's going to play one conversation on the left speaker and one conversation on the right speaker if there's two going on. And um, I, I do believe I've even seen it um, play more than two at a time. It'll start putting a second one on the left. I, I believe I've seen that. Um, it's been a little bit rare, but I, I really do think I saw it once. There you have it. Uh, obviously, you got a mute button here if you need to use it. If you want to stop it, you want to click this playlist editor again. Go back in here and you can hit stop. And now you're uh, not receiving anymore. So the now playing screen is blank. Still have your waterfall running, but um, it's not really doing anything. And that's uh, all there is to it.
I'll show you a couple other features. These are sort of extra bonus features. If I uh, want to, I can set this to auto start. And then whenever I launch the software, it'll automatically start playing this channel. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but you could just, you would just flip that on and hit save. And then if I go back and put this back in play mode, I'm um, not sure, whatever. Put this in play mode so that we're watching it again. You'll notice that over here, there's this little gold asterisk. And um, if we wait a minute for an active conversation to pop up here, we'll see. Uh, well, I'm not seeing it. But anyway, there's this little gold asterisk. So that's actually the icon. So if I go over here back into the playlist editor and I go to aliases and I choose my, my alias list, um, what I can do is if I, let's, let's filter by, or uh, order by group and actually let's uh, do a little searching here. So I'm going to search on, um, let's see, I'm going to search on Cincinnati and I'm sorted by group. So I should be able to find Cincinnati police. So here's the police. So let's just take all of these Cincinnati police channels up to here and we can change the icon. So right now it's set to no icon, which is the star. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change that to a police car and hit apply. And while I'm here, I'll just do the same sort of thing for the fire EMS. So let's take all these fire EMS channels and I'll switch those to uh, fire truck and hit apply. Go ahead and close the playlist editor. Now you can see I got icons showing up here. And if you were fast, you might have seen it show up up here. We'll see if another one comes up for Cincinnati here in a minute. There you go. So there's a little police car. Doesn't do a whole lot, but if you want to make it look just a slight bit nicer, you can play around with that. So when you're done, obviously you can hit the X up here to close it. You can also do file exit. All right, one more thing to show you. You can also go in here and you can go under aliases and you can choose specific um, talk groups and you can set those to record. So you can record specific talk groups if you want. You can also set priority. So by default, uh, the channels have a priority of 100, which is the lowest priority. So when you see this listen default, that means 100, 100. But what I can do is if I find one that I'm really interested in, like, uh, let me see if I see one here. Uh, oh, I'm filtered. Let's do it this way. So if I do GRTP, this is the Green Township Police Department where I live. Um, so maybe I'm really interested in these. So I can set the priority on these to be, um, I don't know, why is it? I don't know, for some reason that it was acting like they're muted. Uh, but now I can set the priority on those to be one. Now um, it'll make sure that it plays those for me uh, instead of other channels if it has to choose what to play when there's traffic on those. All right, I think that concludes my demo. Um, have fun with the software. Thanks for watching. Twenty three sixty five oh three plate. Engine twenty one.